and large, large, great, piercing things shall be upon his head, and he shall pierceth them who holdeth his name in vain. Lo, we are pierceth, they shall cry. Ouch, that really hurt, yet it shall avail them nothing, for the piercings shall be many. Whoa! Woe to thee, the pierced! Woe to thee who turn from offler! Woe to those whose unmentionable areas shall feel the prod of those nasty pointed horns! And verily shall he bellow forth the ten sacred names of the Forbidden Dawn! Where do all these flies keep coming from? What's this then? For a nice time, eat well, drink happily and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day. No, I'm not going to look into there. There are some things best left unknown. I don't care what the user manual says, I'm not doing it! The toilet? Purpose built? What's the world coming to? Nope! I can't shift it! Good grief! What in Offler's name is that dreadful smell? Actually, I don't know if it's a good idea having a naked flame around this place. That doesn't work. You mean someone actually airs their laundry here? Oh, please let this not be where he normally keeps his stock. That doesn't work. Let's definitely keep this in mind, okay? Ah. A subtle hint of rotting kelp and lethal bacteria upon the air. The distinctive name Melodious Hum of Flies. This must be the fishmongers. At least it sharpened my definition. That doesn't work. Look at the size of it. Must be Clatchin Sturgeon Row. The smell is terrible, but the fish don't seem to mind. That's a rather unusual fish. Well, if times ever get hard, at least he can masquerade as one of the stock. Morning, fishmonger. Busy day. Fairly hectic, sir. The ray over there keeps trying to escape. Escape? How on earth does it think it can survive up on dry land? Well, it's a ray of hope, sir. I think you're eating too many fish eggs. It's good for you. That's quality seafood, sir. Isn't caviar expensive? I don't mind shelling out the money. No more puns. Wizards never could take a yo. Don't say it. Oh, come on, you can keep up. Stop it, you get me all tongue-tied. You're floundering for new lines, sir. I'll be quiet. At least it sharpened my definition. Is it this time? Watch your squire. Good gods! That's... inventive. Ill work has been afoot. I have you to thank for this. Business is booming. You must really have the market on the hop. It's going forward in leaps and bounds, sir. I'm trying to give business a leg up. Oh, no. Everyone says it's a good career move. Just think of the saving in footwear. I'm surprised they let you stay here. They don't like beggars. Didn't the city guard try to shoo you off? Oh no, sir. I told them begging wasn't my sole reason. Let me guess. You wanted a toehold into a bigger market. 
So, do I have legitimacy now, sir? No, now you're just having a leg to stand on. Ah, I see your point. I'll work on it. Yes, and ooh, look! He's displaying a, a sort of machine. A sort of... with clamps and drill bits. Oh, dear. Ah! Now this will be the barber's shop. I think the medical and hair care professions still have a long way to go. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Open wide. Here. Why are the straps attached to these armrests? That doesn't work. Extractors, drills, needles. Hmm. Oh, let's not go into this too deeply, OK? Get away from that! Diploma from the Academy of Barbering, Bloodletting, Leechery, Tooth Pulling and Associated Self-Mutilations Academy. Our first customer. I wonder if he was the last. Yes. Still fails to create that relaxing atmosphere, though. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Open wide. What are you doing? Get out of my pocket! Let's just keep this handy, shall we? This way to the town! Aha! Crocus Gittus, or the common old garden boring old codger. Look, is he alright? Uh, malaria. Malaria? He's got a poison dart sticking out of him. Just ignore him. Probably put it there himself to attract the girls. He probably likes it there. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he'd complain if he didn't. Look, um, I don't mean to pry, but are you sure your friend's alright? Oh, uh, bitten by a mosquito, that's what. Happened on a treasure hunt, I reckon. Yep. Yeah, he'll be better after he's had a nice lie down. In trouble with the law, an open and shut case looms before you. Then try the Assassin's Guild Witness Relocation Plan. We will relocate any witness to the bottom of the River Ank within the hour. Free Dragon Victim Disposal Service. Reasonable rates. Contact Prendergast Path Gritting Emporium. Experienced Virgin wanted. Good pay. Immediate prospects for promotion. I'm sure I've seen him round the place before. I wonder if he was the one who tried to sell me shares in that left-handed shoelace factory. Dragon detector, sir. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. What's this then? Psychiatricist? The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. Thank <laughs> you.
Will you shut up and sit down? Diploma, honours pass. Cut me own throat, Dibbler's Correspondence Schools. Psychi trickery, grade one. Hmm. Well, at least local mental health is in good hands. I'm sorry? The eyes. The eyes. The awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping. Not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Ah, get them off me. They're all green. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Are you him? Pardon? What? No, you couldn't be. He would know who he was. I suppose I should come to expect this kind of thing in my life. So who are you then? The mighty wizard, Rincewind. Oh, is that all? Well, I'm sure he wasn't a wizard. I think I remember him smelling a fish. Look, who do you want to meet? Him, my beloved, my long-lost paramour. He's been missing ever since I was a child. <laughs> God, give me patience. Well, it's all very traumatic, I think. They said I really ought to find myself a trauma, then go and see the psychotrickerist. Everybody's doing it. I can imagine. So you're here for a bad memory, then? No. Why'd you ask? Well, that's a dunce's cap you're wearing, isn't it? You look like a pencil. This is a wizard's hat. A garment of great austerity and history. Oh, it must be ever so good for storing things. I don't want to talk about it. The uniform is not negotiable. Fine. What's this about a beloved of yours? True love, is it? I last saw my true love in the Ram Top Mountains. It was a sign, you see. A sign that my life was to be spent in alpine pursuits. That's why I became a milkmaid. Really? How fascinating. I learned to yodel, too. Oh, dear. No, no, I can't seem to do that. No, no, I can't seem to do that. Will you shut up and sit down? Will you shut up and sit down? That's possibly the most heinous woman I've ever seen in my life. Stunning how they managed to find these people. Yep, got it. When you that doesn't work. Will you shut up and sit down? Hmm. Trolls Weekly, Hovel Beautiful, Popular Siege Engineering. I hate waiting room magazines. No, no, I can't seem to do that. That doesn't work. Will you shut up and sit down? Rotten produce. Well, there's something to be said for truth in advertising. I already have one of those. Ah, background colour. Cad, but there's no expense spared in this place. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. 